Our main goal as an aerial logistics engineer is to influence design, to really sit with the engineers and put a maintainer perspective within the design. It eases the burden of being a mechanic and it may, it may even help us make the aircraft that much safer. Before I got to Bell, I was in the military. I did uh, nine years in the Army. I was actually a UH-60 uh, Black Hawk mechanic and, and a crew chief and standardization instructor. I trained crew chiefs more or less how to be crew chiefs, how to conduct their operations safely, how to conduct their mission tasks safely. After I got out of the military, I got hired on directly at Bell. What I bring to Bell is, is my operational experience with one, within the service, and two, I was an experimental mechanic and I had the opportunity to actually work on the AVCD 280 aircraft. There are very few individuals that have actually worked on the aircraft itself, and I know those maintenance hardships that I experienced that I can now expose and, and talk to the engineers about. And then with the technology that we have, hopefully we limit the downtime in making this aircraft that much more sustainable. I really just wanted to be able to show my experience and, and provide all the mechanics that didn't have this possibility as a mechanic when I was there. Technology that we now have will ease the burden of a mechanic, really help us, one, be a mechanic and make the, that job that much easier. Utilization of HoloLens, the utilization of the digital backbone. We can now predict things that we could not predict in the past. So definitely reducing maintenance downtime. It's one thing that we need to realize, there's gonna be a generational turn within the military where all these young individuals right now have the experience in gaming, they play video games. So putting those tools in their hand now will be absolutely normal in the future. Another thing that we do is we sit through fly-throughs. We look for ways to minimize the amount of GSE. We do that by utilizing previous experiences within the military. And then we also, we look at the design itself and say, is, is there something that the Army already has that we can utilize rather than developing a new piece of equipment? The utilization of the SCAMP was a big win for us. The FBL team really took advantage of the decommissioning of the ABCD test aircraft, our test article. We actually found a civilian equivalent SCAMP 2 that we utilized. We removed all the heaviest components off the test aircraft and really validated the use of the GSE and the validated the use of the common hand tools, making sure that the right hand tools were used compared to the Army's toolbox. Another thing that we did was we looked at how many individuals were required in order to conduct the removal tasks. We definitely validated that we could use what is currently fleeted within the Army to remove the heaviest components with, on our aircraft. We now have the ability to maintain the aircraft in a way that we have never seen. We're the ones that keep the aircraft safe, and, and if you didn't have us keeping it safe, you wouldn't be able to fly it.